Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the CC4 avatar, the character creator 4 avatar into Blender 3.6. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is with plugin, with the CC Blender 2 plugin, the add-ons. And the, the second method will be how to import the CC4 avatar into Blender without plugin. So first, we are going to look at the method that with plugin. First, you can just go to my video description and download the add-ons, the CC Blender tools add-on from the link. So once you click into the website, then click here, click the code and download the zip folder, download the zip file. Once you download it, once you download it, download the zip folder, the zip file, then it is going to appear, appear as a zip file. Then what you need to do is just go to your blender, click the edit preferences, then click the add on and click install, install the add on, the CC Blender tools main. Then search it here CC. It is going to appear this CC slash icon tool. You have to make sure you take it to activate it. Next. When you press N, you should be able to see the CC, CC slash I clone pipeline here. So the first step, just press A to delete everything from here. Then from your character creator for just click file, export, FBX, clove character. The target tool preset, you just need to choose the blender. Then click the setting, scroll down, Make sure you take here, use the T-Pose as the bind pose, embed the texture. Then the FBX option, I'm just going to select the mesh to export the mesh only without the motion. Then I click export, I'm going to export it. Click OK, export it on my desktop. I'm going to name this as Camilla01, save. Once you already exported it, then you have to go to the blender. You, you can just see the FBX file is set here. So from your blender, the CC icon pipeline here, click import character, then choose the location, camilla01.fbx. Then double click it, it is going to install and it is going to automatic setup of the materials And here, when it show net, when it is showing not responding, just need to wait for a while. Now, I take show the materials here, and just wait for a while. It is going to show all of the materials, and everything already set up properly. Then under the wait, now you can see some of the mesh penetrations. You can just click the shirts and go to the texture pane. Sorry. Go to the sculpting, then turn on the material, then just try to, to push, to pull out the mesh, like this part, click, to pull it out, then it should be okay. So once done already, you can back to the layout here, and then when you scroll down under this the scene tool, you can see you can click the CC tree. It is going to show the CC tree shader. Then if you click the studio, so all of these are the lighting. Click the CC tree. Then and the next method I'm going to show you is how to import the CC3 avatar just without plugin. Then I'm going to show you the pros and cons of with plugin or without plugin. So this one is with plugin. Then I will show you that actually the eyes have problem. So I will just click click the skeleton and I go to here viewport display show it in front. And then now you can see the eyes have problem. I'm going to show it as the stick and I go to the edit mode. I try to rotate the eyes like this. 
the ice is not going to rotate this is the problem so I'm going to show you how to fix this problem you just need to sh to import without the add-on so I'm going to just open the blender 3.6 again in a new window and actually you can direct import the FBX file and you just need to import the FBX and then set up the material manually but it is really easy just within one minute you can make it so now I'm waiting for the blender to finish loading just wait for a while now you can see the first the first blenders window this is imported by using the CC plugin for blender now the second the second window I'm going to just direct import the FBX I click file import FBX then under the desktop Camilla 01 I double click it to import it I just need to wait for a while now you can see it is even faster then I turn on the texture and later you, you, you are going to see that actually the texture have some some problems just for example the hair I click the hair how to just make it make it be okay I just click it go to the material then scroll down the alpha the alpha blend I change it to become alpha hash then another material is at here the second material the hair transparency the alpha blend change it to become alpha hash then everything will back to the normal now, this is going to back to the normal like this next this shirt the specular you just need to scroll down the specular change it to become zero then you're back to the normal and this problem still there you can just go click and then go to the sculpting just use this turn on the texture and sculpt it manually here and the back so for this time we are going to check the eyes again just now because of if you direct import by using the the CC plugin the CC add-on then you cannot rotate the eyes but what about if you direct import it we have a check back to the layout I click the skeleton viewport display here I turn this on to be in front go to the stick now we test the eyes to see click and we try to go to the post mode and try to rotate the eyes yes you can see this time you can rotate the eyes so for the eyes problem if you direct import by using the icon cc pipeline add on here then you cannot rotate the eyes there will be some problem that if you direct import it then you can rotate the eyes at the same time here you can press N as well go to the CC pipeline to turn on the scene like the CC tree then everything will be okay everything it will be the same ones so you can see now this pants the specular to back to the object mode the specular of the pen change it to become zero as well under the material the specular change it to become zero now everything back to normal it is really easy really simple all right next I'm going to show you actually if you direct import by using the if you import the FBX by using the CC pipeline blenders add-on then if you click the face go to the object mode if you click the face you check the this one we call the shape key to, to open the mouth you can open the mouth right so this morph it have the problem if you direct import the FBX look at the second window this one I direct import by using the FBX from the FBX into blender the first one the V open have some problem then you cannot let the mouth open so the only way to let the mouth open is just play with this jaw go to the post mode just show the name which one is the jaw you have to find it out the upper jaw 
it should be this. So not this. The jaw bone should be this one. Try to open. Not this. So it should be next one. This. Yes, this is the skeleton to open the mouth. So if you want to make your 3D animation by using the direct method to, to import the FBX without the add-on, then when you do the mouth open animation, you have to use the jawbone to open the mouth by creating the keyframe to open the mouth by using the skeleton. At the same time, you can rotate the eyes to create the eyes animation. Right. Then the rest of the shape key, you can just check it. The rest of the shape key are normal. It doesn't have any problem. Just for example, this. All right. I'm going to go back to the post mode and this one I'm going to just, just make it back to zero. without rotation not this all right to close the mouth should be this bone or reset to zero all right now all back to the zero already. So in this tutorial, I already I already show you two ways. The first way is to import the CC4 avatar by using the add-on, the CC iClone add-on, just by using the link and install the add-on. And this one, the mouth open morph, it doesn't have the problem. The rest of the morph, it doesn't have the problem as well. The explosive, this one, this one is okay. Zero. Then what about if you direct import it to check the explosive? We are going to try try to check in object mode. Go to check the shape key. The explosive is at here. To look at it. Is that the same? We are going to check it. Explosive. Same. Actually, I already test all of this. The rest of the morph, the shape keys are normal. The only abnormal is the first one, the V open. The rest should be okay. We try more, for example, the V applicate. So here, do the same. It has slightly different. This one, you can go up to 1.5 if you just put one to see. Is that totally same? Yes, the rest are normal. The only abnormal is the first one, the V open. Right. So that's all for today about my tutorial on how to how to just import the CC4 avatar, the character creator 4 avatar into Blender 3.6 with the plugin add-ons or without the plugin add-on. So for this, I suggest you to just import it without the add-on so that you can animate the eyes you can animate the skeleton as well and of course for this one you need to open her mouth just by using the jawbone and that's all this is the, the recommend that I, i'm going to give you i suggest you to import the fbx without the add-on all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!